Why is it so hard to talk to God? We're not used to being still. We're always on the move, always rushing from one thing to the next. And in the midst of all this chaos, it's easy to forget to take a moment to just be still and connect with God. I've noticed that when I'm in church, I feel like I'm in a place that is different from the world. It's a place where I can let go of all my worries and fears and just be in the presence of God. But as soon as I leave the church, I feel like I'm going back to the world, back to the hustle and bustle of everyday life. And yet I know that God is always with me, no matter where I am. So why is it so hard to talk to him? Why do we find it easier to gossip or send nasty text messages than to reach out to God in prayer? I've also noticed that we tend to enjoy worldly songs more than heavenly ones. We get bored in church when we sing hymns, but we can't stop listening to the latest pop hits. It's as if we're more interested in what the world has to offer than in what God has to say. And then there's the question of sharing our faith with others. Jesus said, If you deny me in front of your friends, I will also deny you in front of my Father. It's a sobering thought. If we truly love Jesus, shouldn't we be eager to share our faith with others? Shouldn't we be willing to take a stand for what we believe in? So here's a challenge for all of us. If you love Jesus, send this message to 20 of your friends in the next 60 seconds. It may seem like a small gesture, but who knows what God has in store for you tomorrow. Maybe he has a surprise waiting for you, a blessing that you never expected. But even if you choose to ignore this challenge, remember that God is always there, waiting for you to reach out to him. He's always ready to listen, to comfort, and to guide you. So why not take a moment right now to talk to him? Tell him your fears, your hopes, your dreams. He's always listening always ready to welcome you with open arms.